Yeah, I, I was in the river yesterday and you know I, I I was paying attention to the low frequencies and you know this this uh, this place near a volcano an active one wow. so you you can if you pay attention you know, I, I I think I have some good ears but if you pay attention you know you listen like the movement like of the earth like, like yeah you know something is moving. Yeah. Uh, in there <laughs> in the river you can you can you can like feel it like more it's creepy <laughs> yeah well you know that was that's like a, one of my significant like a mushroom trip I think like when I finally I would say had had a, a, a significant mushroom trip was that I was on the beach in Santa Cruz and then I could just feel the whole um beach like breathe and, and, and this wasn't like some intellectual like concept of like the earth is alive no it was like I, I was like on this like living breathing thing you know <laughs> like like sitting on like a whale or something that was just like moving on its own and then doing its own thing and I'm like oh shit this is crazy this is what it really is though <laughs> you know? yeah 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 like you yeah, that happens. Like you realize, like what it's. In, oh, this, this was in front of my eyes the whole time, you yeah. know. And everything changed, you know. Like, I was, you know, a while ago I was more into that, you know. Like, like I was living in a in an apartment and it changed the whole time, you know. Like it, it was never the same, like changing, changing, changing all the time, you know. Like little little things and the and the neighbor also actually in Concepcion in that place yeah it was like like but uh, now I guess you know like the, for example this other place I'm living right now it's like more stable you know it doesn't change that much <laughs> you know what I mean like but by that moment, you know, I, in Concepcion, also the the people change, and I think I, I was in the well. By that time, I was following that calendar. I was okay. The, the yeah, also. You and, know, oh my God, this is great because it, <laughs> it just reminded me of this thing that uh, I didn't read like all of it, but I skimmed it pretty good, and I was reading other other things uh, related to it, but. Um, there was some um, like scientific article about how primary language uh, affects like um, sight or like like color or something like that, and, oh. and uh, uh -huh. people were talking uh -huh. about it, and that um, anyways it's just interesting about how just on a basic level how language um, affects our perception, right? And like to totally. to to the same thing is like. Our relationship with time and like how we think time affects our perception yeah. and then all of that like um, which we think is maybe signal but it could also be noise of like blocking out what we're kind of like talking about you know like this more dynamic uh, signal of reality yeah yeah I, I remember like I don't know like maybe like five years ago, I, I was sitting in my in, in the living room in, in this other apartment, and I had this experience of like like a roulette, you know, like like I was like sitting in this place, and the place start to change, like different, like little differences like you know the same place but without that uh, bottle and the, the same place but without that uh, whatever you know like little changes and it starts to move like I had this vision like it moves and moves and moves and, and then I choose like okay I want this one and it stays <laughs> that, was, that was crazy it was like modulating modulating in to different dimensions I thought it was like that is this uh, sensation of well, in, by that time but by that moment I was 
very into you know developing that starting with the with looking for to be present looking looking to into that like what is to be what, what is to be what is to 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 be in the moment right here and and I was into med meditation a lot and I was like full time dedicated to that so yeah I had yeah. The, all these all these kind of crazy things happen like that one or the other time you know I just went out to the garden and crazy 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 stuff like when you start to to look into it and yeah but it was like a like a roulette you know like like a roulette you and it change 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 and you choose okay this one you know i don't know if i changed the whole like everyone and everything you know? like, when i was in the roulette i don't i don't know if i changed to another universe <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you I didn't know if I changed my girlfriend. You know? <laughs> this is not her anymore. Like, I just switched. <laughs> you could have branched off versions of us. Exactly. Like, little different, little <laughs> different versions, like very similar. That's why, you know, like, I think the one possibility is that when you die, you just simply can't die because you just jump to the next moment <laughs> you know have you ever seen like, um, <laughs> when you when you go really deep ever, into it like, <laughs> have you ever seen yeah, this movie called so Wiki Life You know, they say that dreams are real only as long as they last. Couldn't you say the same thing about life? See, there's a lot of us that are out there that are mapping that mind-body relationship of dreams. We're called the Oneironauts. We're the explorers of the dream world. Really, it's just about the two opposing states of consciousness, which don't really oppose at all. See, in the waking world, the neural system inhibits the activation of the vividness of memories. And this makes evolutionary sense. See, it'd be maladaptive for the perceptual image of a predator to be mistaken for the memory of one, and vice versa. If the memory of a predator conjured up a perceptual image, we'd be running off to the bathroom every time we had a scary thought. So you have these serotonic neurons that inhibit hallucinations, that they themselves are inhibited during REM sleep. See, this allows dreams to appear real while preventing competition from other perceptual processes. This is why dreams are mistaken for reality. To the functional system of neural activity that creates our world, there is no difference between dreaming a perception and an action, and actually the waking perception and action. told me that the worst mistake you can make was to think you're alive when you're really asleep and life's waiting on you. The trick is to combine your waking rational abilities with the infinite possibilities of your dreams. Because if you can do that, you can do anything. Did you ever have a job that you hated? Worked really hard at? Long, hard day at work. Finally, you get to go home, get in bed, close your eyes, and immediately you woke up and realized the whole day at work had been a dream. It's bad enough that you sell your waking life for a minimum wage, but now they got your dreams for free. <laughs> Hey man, what are you 
What are you doing here? I fancy myself the social lubricator of the dream world. Helping people become lucid a little easier. You know, cut out all that fear and anxiety stuff and just rock and roll. By becoming lucid, you mean just knowing that you're dreaming, right? Yeah, and then you can control it. They're more realistic and less bizarre than non-lucid dreams. You know, I just woke from a dream. Uh, it wasn't like a typical dream. It seemed more like I'd walked into an alternate universe or something. Yeah, it's real. I mean, technically, it's a phenomenon of sleep, but you can have so much damn fun in your dreams. And so waking oh. life is like, at first it's like this dream inside of a dream inside of a dream. And then like later you kind of figure out like it's this guy who's stuck in this dream. And then he kind of like... The, like it's the, animation? Yeah. Uh, uh, it's yeah. it's filmed, but it's also animated over like... Anyways. But it's, you know, I remember seeing this movie uh, back in college, like in this dorm up up in like the Bay Area, San Francisco, and we we're all smoking weed. It was kind of funny. I was going, I'm visiting my friend, and then his his dorm room, uh, neighbors or whatever were smoking a blunt, and they're like, "Oh, can anybody roll a blunt?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I can." And so I go over there, and I'm, I'm rolling this blunt for them, and they're and they're they're talking to me. They're like, "We're watching this movie called Waking Life," and I'm like, oh, "I've never seen it." And then they're like, "We really? haven't seen it," and they're telling me about it. We're getting all high, and then we watch it, and you know, I watched like the end of it, and I was like, "Oh my god, this movie's so crazy!" But it totally like reminded me of this like mushroom trip I had one time, <laughs> and it, like it was so funny, like how it all like happened, like how it unfolded, like this like me uh, getting introduced to the movie. And then it like triggering this experience I had on mushrooms, and they all tied it together about like okay, so one time I was on mushrooms, and like we we're going to pick up like liquor, and I, I get really paranoid, and I think, what about if like I die or something? And so like I'm like going into like these weird little like thought visions because I'm on mushrooms, right? And then I'm like, oh my god, and then I'm like, oh well, I'll just run, and then I'm like, oh my god, I could get shot, and then I'll just die, and then when I had that thought about like just dying. Like, I instantly, like, wake up, like, if I woke up from a dream. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then yeah, I'm like, yeah. oh, my God, this is so weird. And I'm like, I'm, I'm me, but not me. And it's like, if I woke up from a dream, but this is, like, a new life. And then I, and then I go back, and I'm, like, in in in, in my body and, and in, in this car with this guy or whatever. But the whole movie, uh, uh, like, premise is kind of like that. It's like, he dies, but he... He's stuck in a dream inside of a dream inside of a dream and it's like all this like uh process of like everything it's 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 interesting <laughs> but i do think it's it's something like that i mean i i think you you or whatever you you consider you like uh your ego yourself uh daniel uh like dies but there, that's not really you either and like any any of this meditation or or psychedelics or dreams like points to this like a larger context of of what you are is like you know like consciousness like you know without uh an object like without a personality without anything like that this ocean of yeah. energy that we're in you know we're just like a drop yeah uh, yeah. yeah 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 definitely no it was it was just in immersed in yeah it. yeah just having a good time. <laughs> yeah, just having a good time. <laughs> On the edges, edges of the abyss. <laughs> you know, what, what else? 